You know, if this Nintendo Switch leak is true, because remember, it could always end up being fake, we will get updates on games like Mario Kart Deluxe, Mario Strikers, Mario Party Superstars, Nintendo Switch Sports, and even more gameplay from Splatoon 3, Xenoblades, and finally, finally, Bayonetta 3. But also rumor Nintendo Switch games like The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages, a new Donkey Kong game, and even a Mario trailer as well as The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 exact release date. This Nintendo Direct would just blow me away if this is true. Hey guys, it's Rob here, and welcome back to the Robochon Show, where we take the gaming news format that channels like Spawnwave or Arlo do, add a dash of animation and some cool editing on top to bring you your gaming news, leaks, and rumors in a fresh new way. If you're new here and want to be kept up on everything gaming, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you enjoy the video and dislike if not. In this video, we are going to talk about the Nintendo Switch leak that has potentially, and I want to stress potentially, given away the Nintendo Direct reveals. As it is E3 season, or I guess what was E3 season, it's Nintendo Direct season now, since E3 isn't happening, people are coming out and giving out their Nintendo Switch leaks, which is bound to happen. Whether they're real or not remains to be seen though. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment on today's topic, I would love to hear your thoughts on this Nintendo Switch leak, and if you want to follow me on Twitter and help me reach my goal of a thousand followers, so you can follow me at RoboRob93. Without further delay, let's talk about this Nintendo Switch leak. So first up on the list is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass Wave 2, and according to this Nintendo Switch leak, it says that we'll be getting it in June, which means more than likely during the Nintendo Direct for June of 2022, they will most likely say it will be available right after the Nintendo Direct. Now, interestingly enough, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has added a post of a new maintenance, so that could be for this DLC. And next up, we have Mario Strikers DLC characters added into Mario Strikers, which comes out in a couple of days if I'm not mistaken, which makes a lot of sense since this game did have less of a roster than past games, which is something that a lot of people, if I recall correctly, didn't really like about this game. And moving on, we have Mario Party Superstars board update, which according to this new Nintendo Switch leak will be for October. Now, I haven't played the game myself, which is kind of a curse of having a Nintendo Switch, a PC, and a PS5, but for those who have it, tell me what kind of updates you would like to see in this, perhaps your favorite board from past games, or new characters, or what have you. And moving on to the next one, it's gonna be Nintendo Switch Sports, and it says that the update will bring a brand new mode called Penalty Mode, which is slated for June of 2022. Now, this does wrap up the section of updates from previously announced games, and now we're moving on to the next section, which is really exciting. And the next section is for trailers of games that were already announced, games like Xenoblades 3, Splatoon 3, Fire Emblem's Three Hopes, Bayonetta 3, and more. Which, Bayonetta 3 is a game that I have been waiting for, so I'm hoping we're at very least get a release date and some more gameplay and some explanations on the mechanics of this game. First up, we have Splatoon 3, and according to this Switch leak, we will be getting a new trailer called This Is All New. More than likely, this means that we'll be getting some stuff about what's new in Splatoon 3, maybe weapons, mechanics, levels, maybe even some gameplay and explanation for the story mode, and overall new content that will be in Splatoon 3. Which again, is a game that I have not played even once, so experiencing Splatoon 3 for the first time is gonna be very, very fun. I love multiplayer shooters, so it should be a good time. And next up, we have Xenoblade 3, which is a story trailer. Now, this does make a lot of sense. We don't really know much about the story of Xenoblades 3. We know a lot about the gameplay, though, but the story has been left out. So, it would make a lot of sense to give us more info on the story for Xenoblades 3 at the June 2022 Nintendo Direct. And the next one is Fire Emblem's Three Hopes, which is getting a story trailer, which is good to see. But next, we're moving on to a game that I really want to see and really want to hear from, and that is Bayonetta 3. According to this Nintendo leak, we will be getting a new trailer that features more gameplay and is called The New Evil which will probably point to the big bad of this game. Now, Bayonetta 3 is a strange one. Not much has been seen from this game, which is really weird and really concerning, because a lack of gameplay from these games that has been shown for quite some time is something to be concerned at, because there could be some problems with the development. Now, according to this Nintendo Switch leak, apparently the release date for Bayonetta 3 is going to be October 28th, 2022, which makes a lot of sense, since it's been in development for quite some time. So I would think a release date for that holiday season of 2022 would happen. And moving on to the next one on this Nintendo Switch leak list, we have the Zelda games, which we have talked about a lot on this channel, and the series that we're going to be talking about in this Nintendo Switch leak is the Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons. Now, for those who kept up with my uploads, you will know that the Oracle games are highly, highly, highly rumored right now. In fact, not too long ago, Nintendo leaker New Marco Maro was actually teasing this game and saying, choose wisely. 
so my guess is a remake for these two games. And next up we have The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2, which is set to have a new trailer and the release date for this is going to release in March of 2022, hitting that spring release date. And it also says we'll have new amiibos for Oracle of Ages and Seasons, along with the Breath of the Wild 2 amiibos as well. It also says the length of this trailer will be 3 minutes, which is kind of disappointing. I was expecting a bigger trailer or maybe a full length gameplay that is about 5 minutes or 10 minutes. But if it is 3 minutes, that does make a lot of sense since they have all the way till spring to spruce it up for that gameplay reveal. And by the way, if you guys reached this part of the video, I want to say thank you for reaching this far and here's a cookie. Make sure you guys leave those cookie comments next to your comments in the comment section below. Now if you're not interested in Super Mario, click the top right corner of this video to hear about Game Boy Advance games coming to the Nintendo Switch online service and even the emulator being leaked. That will also be in the pinned comment as well. And moving on, we have some Mario movie news, which is something different on this channel and it seems that we'll be getting a new brand new trailer for the movie which does make a lot of sense because we haven't seen one yet. Apparently this trailer will feature Mario, Luigi, Peach, Rosalina which is kinda interesting and other characters. Which you know speaking of Mario I will be doing a video on the 1993 Mario movie and it's gonna be animated like Paper Mario. Here's a small look at it I haven't completely finished it there's a lot I still have to do but it's pretty close to Paper Mario and I think it looks pretty cool. I usually share updates on my Twitter so make sure you follow me on Twitter. And next up we have a new Donkey Kong game, which we know that right now it is rumored that a new Donkey Kong game is going to be headed by the studio that did the Mario Odyssey game, which will be fantastic and probably turn out really great. And apparently this Donkey Kong game is called Donkey Kong The King Returns, which is a fantastic title. I gotta say, I really like that title. And according to this Nintendo Switch leak, we will see the release date for Donkey Kong The King Returns in 2023. Now I do have to say, something that I would really like to be in this game is a new DK rap. I don't know why. I love the one back on the Nintendo 64 and I would really like one. Tell me in the comment section if you remember the DK rap. And another question actually, I wonder if this would be 3D or 2D. To be honest, I would like it to be 3D because it seems like Nintendo is doing a lot of 3D games. You take a look at games like Mario and even Kirby which ended up fantastic and reviewing fantastic and you could probably say that yeah Nintendo is probably going to go for that 3D look. I mean it makes a lot of sense that the Switch can do more than the Wii U. And next up we have something called 3 4 Switch for September 23rd. Now most likely this is probably a sequel to 1-2 Switch, which correct me if I'm wrong, but a lot of people just didn't like. So I guess we'll see what happens. But more importantly, we're going to be getting a Metroid Prime HD, which is on this Nintendo Switch leak, which I really hope it is true. And according to this list, it's going to be for October 7th, which is just in time for Christmas actually. And speaking of Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime 4 also has a trailer, which would be fantastic because I was expecting that to just not be at this Nintendo Direct. Now it says that Metroid Prime 4 is releasing in 2023, which is a possible date. I can see that, but I can see it being late 2023. Now, apparently this Nintendo Direct is going to be on the 8th of this month, so if this is true by the time this uploads, which I'm actually recording this on the 6th, it most likely means that this Nintendo Direct would be announced tomorrow. Now, to me, nothing sounds too crazy, nothing sounds too out there, this sounds very possible. The only thing that kind of pops up a red flag on this is that Mario Striker DLC, because Mario Strikers comes out on the 10th, and if this Nintendo Direct is going to be on the 8th, why would they announce DLC before that release date? So that's a little, little red flag there. But remember guys, this could always be fake. In fact, in my personal opinion, I think this is completely fake. But again, I have been wrong before. If you guys remember, I thought the Super Mario 35th Anniversary Nintendo Direct date that was leaked was wrong, and I was completely wrong on that, so you never really know. Especially since this is from 4chan, which has had correct Nintendo Switch leaks before, but they are dime a dozen. I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm using that right. With this video and you want more of this content, make sure you click the top right corner of this video and you'll be brought to more of this kind of content. And again, I do think this is probably gonna be fake, but you guys like when I talk about these videos. These videos are fun to edit and fun to make, and I just want to give my thoughts on this since it is making the rounds. And now that I gave you my thoughts, what are yours? Do you think this Nintendo Switch leak is real? Do you think this Nintendo Switch leak is fake? Tell me your thoughts in the comment section below, and also thanks for reaching the end of the video as well. I know sometimes these long videos can get a bit boring. And if not on your way out, make sure you subscribe for more videos and also have that notification bell on. And if you want to support the channel in any other way, there is my Patreon and Twitter account in the pinned comment if you're interested in those. Oh, and also have this donut if you're still sticking around for me rambling. Thanks for watching guys, and remember, stay safe, stay charged, and have a good one.